deployed him. Oops. See over towards the mid. Insania. Gonna jump up to the high ground and quickly gets dragged back down with the telekinesis there from Katsomi. Uh, Stormstormer. Ooh, no ow. way. I don't know this shard from Boxy. No way. Oh, and there's the south as well. The snowball getting Insania carried over the side. Insania. No I, way! He did the swash okay, okay. He did die to the soft rip from Fishman. If he lived there, he had no right to live, and he didn't. They do get him. Uh, they're trying to dive in for Nisha, but this is a uh, tier Fishman? 2 tower. Uh, Fishman's uh, dying to the tower. Katomi now trapped him by the shards. Uh, he's going to try and get out with the TP, but Boxy's going to put a stop oh to that with the snowball. God. He turns over to Stormstorm with the punch. Stormstorm is going to go for the TP out, but Mickey's turned up. He comes in with the adaptive strike. Stormstorm's TP put to an end. And, and they're going to get him. Nisha takes him the down. The only character Riki Murano is <laughs> bug. That's right. Nice. Sometimes that's needed. Tomato, he's getting chased. Oh, oh there's a big a telekinesis into the rolling corner, but no. Tomato pops to BKB. Now they're going to focus down Mira very easily. And on the other side, Bryle extremely low. No black hole for another 75 seconds. And a huge RP! Holy shit! Collapse with a huge skewer afterwards. And this is looking like a terrible fight for TSM. It's the Aegis. They've lost Bryle in the meantime. A beautifully timed skewer again into the nullifier. And death Holy to Lina. Shit, Two dude. minutes. And they don't like this one bit. They don't have a space to escape. Aeon disc has been propped because of the sticky napalms, Jenkins. Of all things, they force the TP. The Gus doesn't succeed. But they do still see this poor Rubik. That snowball steal. And then later the Lotus Orb is not going to save his life. Oh, and he stole oh, it. Yeah, he <laughs> so does. It was, it was the... He had the Lotus Orb and he stole the snowball now. No way. Wait, Insania? So, something really weird just happened. Okay. Supports. More smoke from Liquid. Looking to hit. Mickey on the charge, level 18. He'll find oh. Silencer. Siamese cat, that's the big catch here. They find Sight. Silencer. Oh He's gone. My God. And indeed, he's in with a black hole. I mean, it's over, folks. It's over. That's. Yep. Yeah. I mean, the swap on the Silencer. Exactly. That, if holding it was high uh, skill, buying back surely is the opposite, right? Ah, uh, that was also high skill. Oh, hook shot. Boxy's already hex. found his way into this play. Laguna Blade is there from Arteezy. They get the support kill. That's a dieback onto the clockwork. Fly's oh, gonna buy back in the game skill. in turn. Oh, oh! Black Hole is dodged! Nisha is fucking incredible! <laughs> My, this guy's reaction time is ridiculous! <laughs> Not I joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fly, all right. Oh. He looks to be alive, and there's the shit. He wants to pursue. Gleipnir as well, but double four up, keeping Nisha alive. He's going to just brush yeah, with off. With the kill they've got, make sure there are no casualties. Yeah, getting that roll up, uh, getting saved by the cookie. Boxy? Sai? Sai? Boxy's yeah. got a catch. They found the Kunker. Can they kill him off, though? Nisha has a swash in a second, and that's the TP from Mickey. I forgot there was a Nature's Prophet in this game. He's been farming away beautifully, but the black hole there after the torrent comes. Miero catches two, but Mickey's still on the outskirts, pummeling them with the damage, and Zai will join in to help out. Good Sunder from Yuragi, and Mickey dropping lower. HR, they didn't realize Boxy was going to come back with the hook shot, though. Mickey's going to TP out with the help of his Sprout, no and they kill Miero the off. Boxy. Very true. You might see it. I don't know if Shopify's seen this smoke flank, though. Oh, he has a ward. Bob it! Oh! Got the hit on him, but it toss away! Is that gonna be enough? Storm Stormer's gonna chase after him, the TP away. They get him with the telekinesis. They throw him back down into the rolling thunder. And uh, now Abed is dead, and Watson's gonna show up the last hits. That precious, precious agility. Don't let him get away! Oh, oh no! Oh, it's so good, because it's uh, like, you buy it uh, mid game, like, uh, and it's so good in the mid and late game, especially if it's like, you, you remember the old spell, Panda? Yeah, gets the Ghost Scepter off, and now the Doom, but he's sprouted. Hakar's trapped inside, Static Storm's there, and a oh, bit of a disaster from EG. That's nasty stuff, but he's got Aegis. Whispers back in, aggressively playing forward, but it's not the vice. Doom is up with his BKB as well. The see Small refreshes, aiming MKS. Nature's Prophet being focused and controlled, but he's got the Invis to back away. And Whisper with Pakar's dealing with Xiao Yu, but he can't contend with the damage of Marcy. Pakar's down and C Small following, trapped in the Sprout yet again. Got off and eat the Remnant, but MKS surviving through that damage allowed him to turn and fight them. Beautifully executed Dude, there for me. really worried about this offlane Chen. 
Probably because they don't know what the hell to expect. Uh oh, That's Nisha. Bad. And Nisha picks Insania up the has gen. TP. Fly is here. This is the first lasso of the game. Crit has come as well. Gets off the snowball. Tag team as well. We get purge for Nisha. Oh. We get blocked in nice shards from Crit. But he's healing so much with his spirit siphon. Crypt's sworn to follow. And he's going to ah. get the kill first. And Sania does onto Abed. No way! If Nisha lives here. Surely he goes down at some point. He's going to get healed oh. up and he will actually live. That Abba is toss. disastrous for Shopify. Boxy with the toss back has the avalanche. And instead of getting the kill on Nisha, they lose two heroes. Does Shopify. That is brutal. Yeah, Meepo player. I mean, he was an Evil player as well, right? He was a Nagasarin player. Like, this man, Lycan, he went back when Lycan was a carry. He can now play it off lane. So I, I do like seeing him on the MP, but... Oh, lol, this time. Vortex. The damage onto Quinn. Doesn't look like the Putz can finish the job. And now they zip back in. Lars going for the solo kill and gets the job done. Oof. Oh, that... Uh, knowing this limits. time round, Asta, may, can, can they go for another attempt at the steal? They got him. Falling low, and he's in for the jump, XWA, he he's it. able to do it again! This time he gets the kill as well! The shot does going get- going to take the bottom tower with just Toby, and now numbers moving in towards mid. They're definitely going to defend this on Entity. They roll in with Sacred, miss a couple. Now Thunderstrike stolen, they move in with Katomi, they pull him back in, but- Oh, the chain away! Oh, he got out of there just in time with the glimpse, that was sick. Sacred surviving, ulties okay, used to heat already for the side of Aster. Bouncing between 3 and 4k. I should think maybe punish Pavoka. He's gonna step back, knows that the Sunstrike's gonna be coming in. And, oh, what a wild oh, wig! Okie dokie there with the micro. Pushes himself up to the high ground, and Pavoka, he's away. He's actually gonna get fully away. I Sean. thought they might. All of Geek Slate playing that bottom side of the map does leave this Roshan pit entirely empty. Yeah, sneaky play. Kirk gonna make some space top. They still have the black hole. They can use it if they want to. They're gonna put it to work. Of course, does have a mech that might be able to help him out. Let's see if it's enough. Scam gets off the sprout. Teleport away, but no. Burnt out by the Midnight Pulse. The oh, gonna be able to get the kill on the Spear Breaker. Yeah. Oh no! Saberlight denied him. What? He got him with the Eidolons. Are you him into a TP? He's already succumbing to the mag power. Yeah, no wonder uh, XWY was already like preemptively teeping before this Q re even came out. Yeah, good, call good call by XXS. Good dead. And almost got the train protector. Now on the run, XWY to dodge the gloves of fire. Oh, but the read! He gets another shot! The Snow the the Boy, oh, he got Stinger! <laughs> the shard reaches out and clicks. Of Stinger and rolling their towers and they're barely committed to this. They even have the Beastmaster Roar on top of this, by the way. It just it was like doing 250 damage and hit to that range bear. Oh, the hook shot though! Finds Sai! Has time to duck the BKB. Good bushwhack though. There's the BKB activated, but Insania is just decimated. They caught Pure with the Pummel Roar. The arrow also hit, but he does get the Brother Style off just in time. The Hawk to keep him in place. He's still brooded. Now disarmed, but still alive. And that's what matters here. As now the rest of Liquid with Elacity running out on this board. Just Prophet. No, he's fighting back. Oh. The Lycra is still on him. He's going to destroy the, just, the Death Prophet. She is down for the count. GPK falls as well. Pure oh. can't deal with Mickey. This man's too formed. He will survive oh the whole engagement oh, purge. Shit. Tip Mickey for this man is enough gold to beat Bet Boom to the Dude, ground. He was attacking. That's going to happen. All right, gets into the trees. And yeah, with Spirit Vessel and the Greaves, it's also going to be a very nice sieging tool with Whisper able to keep that Lena healed up. Because when you're pushing high ground, it can be a bit scary going into the, the ET, the Rubik, the Tusk, who have these gap close or set up uh, mechanisms available to them. So being able to, like you say, kind of poke and prod at things, keep yourselves healed, gives you a lot of options. Jams being, as ever, a sneaky devil, cutting creep waves, making EG follow him into the trees. aggressively, now the Gust, now everyone's here, they can join against Skidder, activates the BKB, he knows he's not safe any longer, Wraith back though, keeping him alive as a normal punch, keeps Laurel stunned, the damage is lacking a little bit from behind, in comes Collapse, the real carry with a Silver Edge, he wants to get 9, 9 in trouble, sorry, he doesn't get Skidder, Skidder will fall, Skidder's dead, in the Wukong's command, Monkey King is not, no longer strong, Saksa turns into a tree, he's confusing them, turn them into trees, it actually she can't, worked. it worked, it the worked. mischief, the sleeping dark plus punch, oh my god, was it good, but now they're just, they're up against the better carry. Here comes the 
comes the fight now. He's jumping away as the Pudge. Okay. Yep, Yerm has Tetris, so he's fine. He stuns the Aegis anyway for six more seconds. Zai now goes in, extra some use, BKB as well, and now they're a little bit afraid. Zai, the true win condition here. But, oh, GPK is not afraid. GPK is actually. Oh, he calculated that perfectly! That BKB runs out at the same time as the tornado hits with a sucker punch from Rubik. They try to finish off Zai, the Spirit Vessel's taking her down. Instead, the easier target is going to be Insania, who's blown up by a shotgun. Zai has been scouted out of the trees. Another sucker punch to send her to her death. As they are going to go for the final tier fours, spamming Nisha's line. Little hook here, trying to catch the Morphling, but the Manta style dodge, saving from the silence instead of the BKB. There's still a lot of damage coming out, but Pure is capable of wave forming himself to safety. And Zai will use a psychic headband with a back. hook. That was an interesting play here to try to kill off the Morphling. Get the TP oh, still is, got is not going to work out. The Snowball will be sufficient with the extra damage at level 15. Zai, he's got his mage there, but he still continued to be the bottom of the net worth of the course. And they have all the answers for him. And they always have vision. Look at this hawk. It's scouting everything. What's well, Axa? Drops back. Drops back on Shiro. They're going decently deep. Uh, Nine's going to be off the mark with the Chakram. And in fact, Nine. He gets clipped oh, away. Oh, uh oh. Nine oh, is not going to be here for the defense. He gets sent straight back to the bottom lane.